how you would define free enterprise. Did you want to, you know, absolutely? Tell us about that? I mean, the, the thing when I talk about free enterprise is the ability to be able to go out in your boats, as I said yesterday, and catch a quota, and the ability to come in and actually sell that quota. You know, we've heard tales of fishermen, fisher persons being told when they can go out and catch the quota and how much they can catch. That's part of the problem. And that's part of their frustration. So all of these things are part of that. So what we're looking for is they want the ability to grow. We have seasons here in Newfoundland, different species that are caught at different times. And last year, for example, we saw cases where crab were actually dumped overboard, where cod were dumped overboard. So there are lots of issues that need to be addressed. And that's one of them, but that's essentially what it means. Should fishermen be able to sell to buyers from outside of the province? Well, you know, if that's an option, there's another option. But I think for us, the, the biggest option is, you know, when we talk about capacity, when we talk about processing is, do we have enough capacity? Are we able to, to process exactly what we're catching on a timely basis? Because when we think about, if you ever want to grow this industry, then we need to make sure that we have the processing capacity and the workers to do that. You know, the minister likes to try to make this a division. He's trying to divide between plant workers and harvesters. Harvesters are not against plant workers. Plant workers aren't against harvesters. They're all in this together and they all want to do their jobs. And the more that we can bring in, the more that we can get processed. But we should never see cases like we saw last year where cod, for example, was being dumped overboard or fishers were bringing in cod and there was no one to sell it to. So those are things of concern that need to be addressed. So you talked about increasing the capacity here, but what about specifically on those outside buyers? Should we allow folks, you know, companies from Nova well, again, Scotia? Well, you know, that's why, Peter, you know, the Premier and his minister went around the province. They've even said it. They met with harvesters and they talked about the things they would like to see, whether it's outside buyers, whether it's issues with concentration, issues with processing, issue with government regulations. So at the end of the day, all these issues were laid out to the premier, but yet they never obviously dealt with any of them. So part of that whole discussion is to sit down and talk about all of that, because that's what needs to happen. It's not about simply taking one and picking that option. It's about looking at all the options we have. How do we turn this industry from one billion to two billion? How do we make sure that we don't throw cod overboard or crab into the waters? These are, these are issues that we should be talking about. We need to be maximizing our plant capacity. You know, when we talk about a company like Royal Greenland having 30% of our, our processing license now and have recently built six factory new, six new factory freezer trawlers, what does that mean for the industry? But those are things that what this is about is not simply a price. This is about turning around and trying to come up with a solution so that we're not here every year after year after year, but not just focusing on one. Let's focus on the processing. Let's focus on everything else, not just price, and see if we can't come to an understanding of how this fishing industry is going to work. So I called for the, I guess, the premier to get more involved personally with uh, this issue. You know, how would you like to, when you say that, what do you mean? Like, what would you like well, to see him get involved with? And well, what would, I guess, you do if it was right. you? Well, like, I think right off the bat, if you're going to take the time to go out and go on tour with your minister, you raise expectations. You raise expectations that what you hear, you're going to act on. And unfortunately, today, as we stand here today, that action hasn't happened. The Premier simply said, well, the, the union and the, uh, the processors are in and are working on a price for crap. But there was many more issues that were talked about and brought up. So that's what needs to be addressed. Those issues need to be talked about. And if we were Premier, I'd be sitting down. I would have had, if I did that tour, I would have made sure that I had a plan that was going to actually sit down with everybody in the industry. It's not about picking sides. It's not about processors versus harvesters or harvesters versus plant workers. It's about our communities. It's about all the people in Newfoundland and Labrador that depend on the fishing industry. And how can we make sure that this industry is sustainable and viable and there's money to be made for everybody involved in it? The minister seemed, uh, I guess, alluded to he spoke to experts in the industry and who said that, you know, the 6,500 plant workers would be without a job if it were for free enterprise. So you're saying it's not about sides. I guess they alluded to the fact that free enterprise favors the harvesters over the plant workers. I think the saying? minister is fear mongering. I don't believe for a second that we're talking about anybody has talked about 
closing down uh, capacity here in Newfoundland and Labrador, only the minister. This isn't about closing our fish plants. This is about making sure they're working at maximum capacity. And if they are working at maximum capacity, do we need more capacity? That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about closing anything at all. We're simply talking about how do we ensure that we get that processing done. And if we're not capable of doing that processing here in the province, then how does it get done? Do we increase our own capacity or do we look elsewhere? But what about that concern that if you lift that moratorium on outside buyers, that that means that plant workers in Nova Scotia uh, end up getting work while plants could sit idle in Newfoundland and Labrador. Well, again, I don't think, I think what has to happen, Peter, in that situation, that is one of the issues that needs to be addressed. But that needs to be addressed as part of all the other issues. You're not simply going to go out and take one thing and do it and not look at all the rest of the problem. That's the whole issue here. It's about sitting down and talking about all these things. Nobody wants to see any of our plants close. Nobody. None of the harvesters, certainly not our caucus, and I certainly don't want to see it. And I know there's so many people that depend on those plants in rural Newfoundland and Labrador. And we need to make sure, as I said before, our goal is how do we maximize them? How do we make them work 12 months a year? Not just simply for two or three months.